market regulator SEBI has enabled foreign investors to deal in commodity derivatives. The regulation applies to all commodities except for those classified as sensitive ones. Let's get in more perspective on this from Murgang Paranjpe, the MD and CEO at MCX who joins us on the phone line. Mr. Paranjpe, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, first of all, yesterday SEBI came out with this notification in terms of where FI participation can happen uh, in the commodity business. Uh, uh, how are you reading into this uh, development that has come in? Uh, it's a very positive development for the commodity derivatives market. I think in terms of steps, and we keep talking about some baby steps and some big steps, I think in that sense, it's a very big step in allowing foreign participation into the commodity derivatives market. Uh, we see this as deepening the liquidity and in the long run, actually helping India become a global price setter in some of the commodities. Of course, we have to temper our expectations that this may not happen in every commodity. But I think this is a very, very positive step that we see yesterday from the regulator. So to just uh, get a sense of what's happening, currently what is the status? Uh, who, all, who all are allowed to trade in commodities here and who all are barred and post this regulation, how is that going to change? So currently in India, we allow Indian corporates, we allow Indian retail. But when it comes to institutions, even on the domestic side, we only allow Alternative Investment Funds Category 3 to invest, and uh, we are still awaiting the SEBI regulations for allowing mutual funds and PMS providers to be uh, participating on our commodity derivative exchanges. Foreigners of any type were not uh, allowed to trade in commodity derivatives till now, and what has happened with the announcement yesterday is that uh, foreign entities who have an exposure to Indian commodities will now be able to hedge those exposures uh, on the Indian exchanges. So I think it's an opening. Um, it, it, it gets in the physical participants internationally who have exposures to India to now hedge on Indian exchanges. But in the long run, this will enable uh, a lot more participation even from foreign portfolio investors. All right. So just to clarify, they can only take hedge positions. They can't take a directional or discretionary trade in commodities on your platform. And uh, second being, um, you know, what exactly are the kind of volume figures that you're currently anticipating? I mean, currently, uh, you know, having versus an anticipated uptick in uh, uh, the volumes. So two parts. Uh, I don't think we have the full clarity on whether it's only a hedge position. I think what has come uh, yesterday's uh, uh, press release is that as long as they have an exposure, they will be allowed to trade here. Uh, so, so they need to have I a think, demonstrable think, exposure. Yeah, but I think they've yeah. also clarified with regards to the tenure of that trade that they can take. So the yeah. tenure of that trade should not exceed the tenure of the underlying asset that they have. So technically, which indicates that it's primarily a hedge position. Uh, yeah, and and, and uh, uh, on the other part, uh, in terms of the volumes, uh, I think too early to guess. So we need to one, not just see the fine print, but I think we just need to allow this market to develop. Uh, you know, in in, in that sense, uh, any derivatives contract in any exchange takes uh, you know anywhere between a year to three years to develop. That's been the experience in India as well, whether it's equities or in commodities. That's been the international experience as well. So I think we wouldn't want to hazard a guess on volumes. Our view is that these are long-term initiatives. Uh, over the next two to three years, we could see India becoming a real deep market for some of the commodities where people will start trading in India and start trading elsewhere. Uh, just uh, to understand from you, is this going to be a special window for them or are they going to trade on the same platform? Because according to channel checks, you know, uh, uh, some client codes which are allocated to Indian uh, firms trading on a commodities platform, uh, they have very limited, uh, uh, you know, limits. Their limits are capped. So if, if an FPI or a foreign investor is coming to take a hedge position, it's probably going to be a larger quantum. So will they have a separate window? Will their limits? be more than those which are offered to uh, uh, you know the current firms trading on the platform so I think uh, one we again need to see uh, and wait for the detail but uh, if I have a hazard I guess no there won't be a different platform I think we will have the same people the people trading on the same platform as regard limits even today uh, as long as Indian hedger has demonstrable requirements uh, which can be demonstrated both to the exchange and thereafter to SEBI uh, there is no limit as such in terms of saying that there's a reduced limit for investors. 
the, the limits are given based on the hedge requirements that people are able to demonstrate. Uh, okay, Mr. Paranjpe, the final question from my end, at least, uh, when will this be uh, coming into effect? Uh, any clarity on when this will actually go on live for you? Uh, I don't think we have a timeline yet, uh, but if you have seen what has been the trend with SEBI in, in most of these things, uh, post the board meeting, it takes normally a month or two to get the detailed guidelines. In this case, I think we'll have to have eight for two guidelines. One is what they have mentioned about how these uh, entities can trade with brokers. So there's a guideline on that. And second, I think because, again, these are foreign entities, this will somehow get linked to the revised uh, foreign uh, participation guidelines. So I think between the two, maybe a couple of months for the guidelines to come in, and then we can start uh, expecting these participants to trade in India. Okay, Mr. Paranjpe, we leave it at that. Thanks so much for speaking to Bloomberg Quint.